Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with an energy forecast. So I wanted to come on and talk about the energies as we've been experiencing it in the last few weeks, but my workload's been really intense and I haven't really been able to, to get a video out to you as I would have liked to. Uh, so I'm just going to go over the last few weeks as it was and I'm going to then uh, talk about what we can expect so some of this i've covered already on in earlier videos because i tend to talk about what's going to happen for the next six months in my videos um uh, so actually overall what we can expect is a great time of productivity if you have uh, wanted to do something, if you've been putting something off for a long time, if you've been procrastinating on something specific, now is the time to actually tackle it because now you have the most amount of success um, or the most um, chance of being uh, successful at whatever you're going to be doing. So uh, you have the highest probability of success is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you also have the highest probability of being able to complete what you begin. So this energy will last into November and December, and uh, some of, for some of you it'll carry on to, uh, into the following years. Now, w this won't. This will apply to most of you who've been on a certain trajectory with the eclipses from uh, the end of last year um, into January, and you've been going through lots of reflective, introspective times. You might have been going through some difficulties in the last six months. Then for you, this next six months is going to be extremely productive, efficient, and a great time to be to begin businesses, to embark on studies, to be successful at entrepreneurships of any kind, and simply to be able to take all the work that you've been doing inside of you and bring it outside of you. And being able to see how the lessons that you've learned in the first half of the year are actually going to impact you in the second half of this year. All right. So that is that for some of you who have still been working or been working very intensely or have been avoiding working with oneself in the inner in the inner parts of you uh, in terms of the, the soul journey, in terms of the struggles that one might have been confronted with in the first part of this year. And I, I want to talk about from about October till, say, June, uh, from October of 2018 till June of 2019. You might find that around June you were plunged into a deeper sense of despair or darkness or perhaps you've had an accident of some sort or you've been having some kind of difficulty. If if you are in this category of people, you are still needing to further refine your uh, whatever it is that you're working on right now. So basically, you just need to stay a little bit longer in that space where you'll be working inside of you a little bit longer. This is not to say that this time of success is not going to come across, uh, it's not going to impact you. In fact, it is going to be there for you to use as well. But the question is, are you going to be able to work on yourself and work outside of yourself at the same time? So that might prove to be a bit challenging. And my suggestion is do what needs to be done in the inner part of you. So if you're, if you're struggling inside of you, work with that first and, you know, pick up the tail end of this energy, which is this productive, successful, efficient energy that, uh, you, you know, is going to be part is going to be in our lives for the next six months or so. Um, and OK, so some of you might have found that you've had a reactivation of a kind of twin flame or soul uh, mate or soul um, kind of um, twin soul type of experiences in the last few weeks. So you might have found that uh, as you're working on yourself through the year that you were separated from your twin or you were, um, you know, a little bit separate from the person that you have a deep connection to. But now you might have found in the last two to three weeks that you've actually reignited this connection. Um, well, I want to say that for a lot of you, it's time to actually evaluate whether this person who you consider to be your twin flame or this person who you have this deep connection with is really a valid contribution in your life, is really somebody that you need in your life, is really somebody that you can actually go forth in this life with, as a partner, or whether they simply a semblance that is kind of like the writing of the wall that accompanies you through your life. There's the soul connection that supports you and offers you a sense of knowing, a sense of knowing not just uh, of what is the right way or the right path or what is intuitively right, but also a sense of oneself. So this person is there to kind of reflect back that 
that to you, that which you are, and that journey which is awaiting you and the way in which you need to go ahead. And so for some of you, you might realize that now is the time to actually let go of those trends, that let go of those connections. And if you do that, there'll be many, many opportunities awaiting you. So aside from this being a really productive time in terms of acquiring wealth or um, uh, creating projects and bringing them to completion as well, or to studying, absorbing information, this is also a fantastic time to be able to meet somebody new and to be able to engage in a meaningful relationship with somebody new. And if you're not looking for a meaningful relationship, if you're looking for a more casual relationship, you'll have many of those on offer as well. So for all the single people out there or anyone who's looking, the next six months, um, in fact, this would have been relevant from about the beginning of August as well, going on now till you know, about January, you have so many options available to you and you have just a whole world has opened up. It's like these floodgates have opened up. And if things have been a bit quiet on the romantic side for you for the last few years, it's about to pick up in a way that you have not imagined that's going to blow you away. So these, this is what we have to look forward to for the next uh, few months. In terms of health, in terms of well-being, um, I think that a lot of you who have been having difficulties in the last few years would have come to a point where you've had to take certain action with your health or you'd come to a point where you could not ignore it anymore and it needed to be dealt with and perhaps that would have entailed a surgery or it might have entailed actually taking some action steps in terms of your diet or in terms of your your uh, lifestyle uh, or, or simply moving as well that could also impact your health sometimes in a positive way also in a negative way and I feel that a lot of you have actually done that or most of us would have done that by now um, and so you'll be also looking forward to a time ahead that's uh, promising good health for those of you who are still working on on the health you know as some of you may be working on you know in, on yourself, in, in, the, in your inner being, you're also going to be, for those of you who are still working with your health, this is the time of strengthening. So give yourself enough time to heal before you begin strengthening. Make sure that all the, all the holes are full, you know, all the, there's no kind of like leaky spots where you're losing energy or you are still needing healing or you are still too tender. And then, you know, come the end of September or so, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more strength to to actually do more, to, you're going to be able to strengthen yourself, you're going to be able to uh, have a lot more energy if you've been feeling very tired recently, you've not been able to really focus, not being able to, to do the things that you normally are able to do, you're going to find by the end of September that you have this new hole that's taken over you, this new energy that's breathe, that's kind of almost like breathed through you or yeah and it it brings to light a lot of um of a lot of what your physical capacities are what you're able to do and what you're not able to do so you've shown your limits and you've shown what you are really um you know what what your strengths are and um, what i'm basically trying to say is that you're able to push to, through the limits so if you're a sporty type of person and you 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 can go so much further in terms of what you're doing in your sports so we, if you're not a sporty at all if you decide that you would like to start some kind of sport well between now and the end of September is a great time to do that it's also a great time to be able to further yourself in any physical activity that you might be doing whether it's just doing household chores or or you know just doing chores around your workplace um, you would be able to do so much more in this time. What I do think is that this is, we've been promised such great energy and that we've been working really hard um, and we've been going through a lot of struggles and we might not have understood all of these struggles in the recent while, but this, the next six months promises us so much and we can use some of that. And some of us may not be at, the, at our full capacity to be able to enjoy all of that, but we are certainly working our way to that and then next year brings like a whole new spin on the energies. So in the meantime, make a good use of this energy that is ahead of you right now. If you are unemployed or if you're feeling that your world is kind of falling apart in some way, don't worry because you have all the resources that you need right now and the support from the universe to be able to 
really pick up the pieces and, and really create something new that will have success, okay? So go ahead and, you know, have that confidence, trust and uh, believe in yourself and make it happen for you. So um, I'm sending you so much of love and, you know, I really have some, I shot some videos uh, which are pick card readings, but I just haven't had a chance to edit them and upload them. And uh, it's it's just been a bit crazy on my end. And it's been like that for um, most of this year. But I hope that this energy also helps me to be able to put out more videos uh, for you guys. And um, yeah, and I, I sure hope that I'll be able to uh, upload a few pick a card readings in the next few weeks. Also, lots of meditations are waiting to be uploaded. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot more that we can do at this time. And so I hope that, uh, um, yeah, you enjoy the pick a card readings that are coming up and that um, this has been useful for you in some way. So sending you much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.